Now, um, I hope that you all are really excited about this because I was really excited to work on it. Um, so if you don't know, um, in the beginning, we, we usually have a design team working on this. We have a variety of people, people from Red Hat, people just from the Fedora community, people who just want to kind of lend an ear. And we always have kind of a discussion at the beginning about like what makes a good wallpaper because there have definitely been fedora wallpapers that not everyone have loved as much as we wanted them to and so it's important that we remember you know a great wallpaper is simple perfect for your your desktop to have all the applications on you want it to be calm and you want it to hopefully be able to have a day version and a night version so we follow a timeline uh, it goes from inspiration, voting poll, mind map, thumbnails, rough idea, beta version, final version. And within this timeline, we think of who inspires the wallpaper. Um, every wallpaper is inspired by someone with a STEM background. So since we're on Fedora 36, we're on the 30, we're on the 36th letter of the alphabet, which is K. So basically I researched found four to five people with the last name that started with K who were either an inventor, scientist, something that was notable in the community um, that, contrib that contributed to humanity, if you think about it. Um, and we basically looked at what could inspire the wallpaper from their background. So these were a few of the people that we voted on in the community and we picked Topeka Coop. So, after that, we basically join together and have a kind of brainstorming, mind mapping situation. And so if you guys don't know who Dabika Krupp is, she's um, a young inventor, scientist, and clean water advocate. So her initial idea that kind of put her on the map was in 2012 when she worked on a water purification system that used a photoatalytic compound to basically purify the water. And so in the simplest sense, that is kind of what she worked on. I, I totally encourage you to go look her up because she's a really, really cool um, just inventor. And I think it's really inspiring, especially for young women of color to like see her out there in the world. Um, and so some of the ideas that we talked about were water purifying. Obviously you can see on the mind map we like you know, we talk about how water kind of connects humanity. Um, and that was just one part that we explored. Obviously, um, we document the whole part of the wallpaper on Pigir. So if you're ever interested in kind of seeing it after the fact, you can totally just look up the Dora 36 wallpaper Pigir and it should pop up in Google. Um, but yeah, so we um, ended up after our brainstorming session, we um, kind of started looking at the more artistic part because, you know, you have to have the idea, but then you're like, I have a lot of different avenues that I can go down this. I could have it be a very paper texture feel, kind of like the top right with our mod Von Tours, um, which was a traditional artist who uses paper, whereas we have on the left, like the glass, which we kind of leaned into more. Um, so just kind of seeing what overall aesthetic, um, kind of as we thought about the different artistic points that we could go down, thinking about what program we could, we, we could use, we ended up using Blender and Krita for the beta version. Um, but yeah, it's just really cool, I think, looking back, seeing what we were inspired from to where we ended up. Um, we have a design team meeting every week for just half an hour. I think this was something that we implemented with Fedora 36. And so we were really lucky to have like a lot of people interested. And I think the most that we ever had was maybe closer to 10 people in a meeting. Um, but the whole point that we try to get across to people is that, you know, you really don't have to like make the whole wallpaper in like one session like you have to communicate different ideas with each other and make sure that everyone's kind of feeling on a solid base so we had a thumbnail stage and i know that um 
not everyone knows what a thumbnail is, but it's pretty simple. It's just a drawing that's the size of your thumb. So it's not supposed to be too detailed and you just kind of um, explore ideas quickly. These were from two various artists kind of um, thinking about different ways we can go down. Um, we have the landscape idea. So this one was clearly day to night, thinking about maybe we could have like even the weather change depending, like kind of a randomization because I know that some wallpapers are animated, but like very inconspicuously. Um, this was a water dewdrop situation on a spider's web, kind of leaning into nature and the water kind of collecting together and going throughout the wallpaper, it would become purified. We kind of really leaned into the transparency themes, the reflection of water, because as far as fedora, you know, those are all things that we kind of think of like, it's transparent. It, you'd like to think that it purifies your desktop and it reflects everything you want back at you. And so we thought it would tie in pretty well. And especially because water is one thing that all humans need. It's a pretty common baseline. Um, we also had some other kind of just landscape versions it's obviously a little hard to tell when it's just some lines um but yeah it kind of sets the tone for where we want to go so this is in blender this was by mo duffy in the very early stages kind of just um visualizing that shadow box kind of version that we wanted to end up with and obviously it was inspired one of the earlier artists i mentioned um, this was really cool because obviously in Blender you can create your own light, light sources um, and Blender obviously is one of our favorite open source uh, programs and probably one of, well, outside of the Fedora community, I think a lot of people in my life actually know what it is. So um, the rough idea, as you can kind of see on the bottom, um, there's kind of a few of the images from like the mind map in, in inspiration that then translated into this rough draft idea of the landscape. Now, when you look at this, you're like, depending on if you've ever worked on, you know, artistic and design related projects, you know, you can have a very simple sketch that then all of a sudden transforms into something totally different at the end. And it's 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 important to keep in mind that like we're going to have this light we're going to have a kind of glass paint effect the opacity isn't going to be as tr like it's not going to be opaque it's going to be transparent and we really wanted to lean into the cool colors because blue is obviously fedora's favorite color so from that sketch i'll go back and forth we have the beta release wallpaper um this is the day version and um some of the feedback that we got was Originally, there were only these two little fish in the water, um, and a few of the design team members were like, well, what if we had some life on the earth side? And so we have the kind of casual little butterflies in, and we also have the clouds kind of coming in off of the sides. And then it obviously fades into the sunset version, which I think is really common. Originally, it was gonna be the night version, but then we talked more and we thought that it would probably be better to have a cooler moon as the night version as opposed to the warm sunset. So unfortunately the butterflies went away for the, the, the sunset and the night version, but the fish stayed and they kind of just kept swimming towards the light um, and the stars came out obviously. So I was really happy with how this came out. Um, this was done in Krita. Um, if any of you guys have ever used Krita, it's a really great program if you ever want to sketch, if you want to paint digitally. Um, I think that it's got a really great uh, array of brushes and I definitely recommend it if you want to get into just making art, uh, whether it's for Fedora or for your personal use. So then we took the beta development wallpaper and kind of handed it off to our Blender experts. And so this was very early on, just trying to get a kind of a sense um, of what we could do with it. But then one of our resident um, Blender experts, Micah, took it in and kind of really converted it into that glass pane and kind of simplified it. And I definitely think that it 
really transports into a wallpaper. We talked about the thickness. We talked about whether or not we wanted it rectangular or actually organically shaped. Um, and I mean, you know that we ended up with a kind of thinner glass that was more, uh, well, less octagonal. But yeah, so we ended up with this day night version, this day version and this night version. Um, yeah, so and I think that this is very calming. Obviously, it's a little different than we've ever had before. Um, and because it's not like a dark blue, it's kind of like that warm sunset glow. But I think it's very calming, especially because it's not too bright when you're working on um, in the night. So I, I feel like I kind of sped through that. But um, I am looking at the chat now and seeing some questions. Love the minimal tones. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's really cool that obviously um, if we, I don't know if I could do it on this, um, but there's obviously a collection of all of the Fedora wallpapers and that's really important that we all, um, when we start the process, like for example, we just started the 37 process for the new wallpaper next release and not everyone obviously has worked on a wallpaper before for Fedora who wants to work on this one. So we always make sure to look back at the old wallpapers so that we don't repeat anything. Yeah, I think a lot of people um, enjoyed the beta more than the, the final version and that's totally valid. I think that they're like cousins or siblings, they're not like twins, um, but I'm glad to know that like, everyone likes one version like just the 36 in general <laughs> cool um i wonder actually i guess i'll stop sharing for now hi hi I figured i'd come up here and join you since it seemed like the session had kind of i know of finished up <laughs> um but I think I could probably come up with some questions yeah. on the fly that would be interesting yeah. for people. So I guess my first question is, how do people get involved with the Fedora wallpaper process? Yeah, so um, if you are in the Fedora design, I mean, in the Fedora community, um, I don't know if everyone has access to Element I actually, because I was like brought in kind of early in the um, beginning of Element, like I don't actually know how people from the outside get into it. Like, is it on the web somewhere? Yeah, sure. I actually can drop a link to the Element channel for folks, but it's That'd be great. Fedora Design. If you're already on there, you can actually just search the mm -hmm. Fedora space. Um, and if you're on IRC already, it's pound Fedora dash design. So let me grab that link. Thank you so much, Marie. Yeah, because we, it's really great for people to kind of post things that they're working on during the week when um, we don't have the design team meeting on a Wednesday, usually, depending on what time zone you're in, obviously. But um, yeah, if you want to get involved, just join there and then we post the link um, every week. It's not like, um, a recurring link. We make sure to do it on Jitsu so we can record it for anyone who can't make it. Um, but yeah, just join on Element if you if you're interested and join the group chat and kind of just be like, ah, I want to contribute. And we'll be like, ah, yay, we're so excited to have you. <laughs> Sorry, I was on another tab. No, you're but, fine. Uh, I'm looking through the chat to make sure if I <laughs> if I've missed anything because I think y'all right, are a really so great actually, audience. I tagged, um, I, I dropped in there the Peugeot ticket for the upcoming yes. um, F37 wallpaper development. So if you have thoughts or input, you can totally drop them there. Um, you will note that we've already voted mm -hmm. um, on our inspiration for F37. So we kind of have that part in place. But if you have ideas or sketches, you can totally drop them there. I'm also part of the design team, which is how I can talk about this with some confidence. Um, and and people are really friendly. Um, 
Nismo is also super involved in this process and she's always excited to take feedback and incorporate that in. Um, yeah, definitely don't be intimidated. Cause like people, I don't know. I, I know that back in the day, like when I didn't have as much design experience, I'd be like, oh, like here it is. And, but like people, I think that we all have a really great um, way of being like encouraging and not like downright mean, just like, here's how you can improve. And it's gonna be great. Like, let's work on it together. <laughs> but just to share a tiny piece of my experience, I went to art school. Yeah, and we both went to art school. <laughs> we both went to art school and this is my experience from like art school to Florida, right? Like mm -hmm. in art school, things were competitive. I don't know yeah. if it was like that for you as well, but you know, everyone was trying to get ahead and, and you know, be the best, do the best, come, you know, show the best mm -hmm. designs at the critiques and that sort of thing is also in photo classes. So there's like even more of that in photography. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's also like popularity contests kind of stuff. So like, and clicks, I will say that I also experienced that. And I think it kind of translates to the art world. What I loved about joining Fedora Design was that's not there. Yeah. Like we are literally sharing files with each other and saying, <laughs> please make this better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and really learning from each other and building on each other's work. And it's so inspiring. Um, it was so inspiring to me at that age and still is um, compared to some of the experiences I had um, in art school and in yeah. and trying to get my feet off the ground as a freelance graphic designer, part of my background, like it was just very tough. Um, yeah. So that's something really cool about um, the design team. And, you know, any experience level is welcome there, even if you're just starting out with Inkscape, GIMP, Krita, Blender, any of these tools, we're happy to share our knowledge and help you learn and grow through that. Yeah. So I, I also dropped, one. yeah, I also dropped the FedoCal um, link for the design team meetings that happen. But as Madeline said, you can just drop into the chat and see uh, the link when it pops up on Wednesdays and you're welcome to join in. Mm. Um, does anyone else have more Q&A? And I'll, I'll say one thing before um, any questions come in. So if you're part of the discussion, fedoraproject.org, that was where we hosted our voting this time. I think the permissions were set so that you could only vote if you were in the design group. However, I think it's very easy to make it so that you can be a part of that as long as you have an account on there. Um, because yeah, me or Ms. Mo will make sure that you can have that permission as long as you on the next iteration, if you're interested. <laughs> All right. I have another question for you. You've been in Fedora for like over a year now, right? I actually just got my um, like anniversary, like little ding on like LinkedIn that I, I've been involved with Red Hat for two years. And then for Fedora, it would probably be like a year and a half because I think okay. quite quickly after that, I was right. Invoked. So everyone has a favorite Fedora wallpaper. That was a question <laughs> I posed to the channel. Um, you know, what's your favorite? So I'm curious, what's your favorite? Oh my gosh. I think I was very biased. I really liked Fedora 33 because I got to work on that one. Um, and also it was so calming with like the earth and the space. Um, but I also really like the Fedora 26, which was a waveform pattern of like Fedora that was then turned into trees. Um, I think that was really cool. So those two probably. Well, I'm also biased <laughs> towards the ones that I've been in. Yeah, uh, was a part of. Um, uh, I my favorite's probably Fedora 31 because that was a drawing that I did um, actually yeah. at Flock. Oh my gosh! And, and I was working on it at Flock. I brought it with me, and then so then I scanned it and I did like a little bit of reworking with it. But then like Mismo got in there and she did a bunch to it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like my favorite. I was also um, a part of F34. So like I took the picture that became nice. Yes, I remember background. that one. <laughs> um, And so 
I'm slightly biased, but I will say it's not my favorite. Um, I also really liked Fedora 34 because it just has such like a nice ethereal, like foresty look. So that one was really cool because that one was based off of um, the person who invented like the planes for animation. And so it really does look like a uh, kind of old Disney kind of painted background. So totally agree. Someone asking is asking, are there animated papers, animated wallpapers? I, yeah, on the like wiki, they, they say non-animated on Fedora 32, but I think that's because um, obviously it's like a automatic setting for your wallpaper to have the day to night version like automatically and then i think that people who choose not to have that uh, automatic effect on it like will by default use the day version and so i think the closest thing that we have to the animated version or an, an animated version would be like four versions of the wallpaper that change because of the time of day um, but I think it'd be cool if we had like a very low key um, animation and animated. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Although I guess we would have to really talk about people, like we would have to really um, talk to people who have their desktop up a lot of the time because I wouldn't want it to be distracting. Yeah, some testing would definitely <laughs> be warranted in that situation. Matthew says that a GNOME shell extension could. Oh, uh, yeah, you just turn it on and off then. Yeah, leave it up to the user. Very cool. Well, I think that's it. We're not getting a ton of questions coming in besides mine. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. I, I, you know, you always plan for so much like talking and then it actually is like that. <laughs> Go through really quick. All right. Well, I think we can call it here. Thank you so much, Madeline. Yeah. Thank you so work, much, everyone. And for coming to present today.